In this video, I'm going to talk about X content type options. Now, this is basically an HTTP header. So X content type option uh, is an HTTP header, which you may would like to use that in your Power Pages site. Now, why it is used is uh, basically it allows, it requests the browser, uh, the browser component to not sniff uh, for the content uh, within the uh, page, okay? Now, what do you exactly mean by no sniff? Now, uh, X content type option, it's a part of cross origin resource sharing protocol. Uh, it is basically a marker used by the server to indicate the MIME types advertised in this content type header should be followed and not change anything. Uh, now, the header allows you to avoid MIME type sniffing. Now, what does that mean is, take for example, if you have a content uh, sent uh, through the web, now, the content can be sent as a plain text, it can be sent as a JSON, or it can be sent as a JavaScript as well. So if you send a JavaScript file and specify that it is a text file, then it will be rendered as a text file. But if you don't specify anything, then the browser will do a guesswork. Now think about it, if you send a JavaScript and if you don't specify the type, content type, it may be, uh, the browser may think that it is an actual JavaScript and then it will start executing it and thereby, you know, like it will introduce problems in your website. So it's always the best practice, you know, it's always the best practice to specify your content type and also put X content type option as no sniff. So this header was basically introduced by Microsoft. It is a way for webmasters to block content sniffing. Now, mostly the site security tester would expect this header to be set. So whenever you do a some sort of a security audit for your website, quite possible this may come up that the auditor may say that, hey, X content type options is not set. So uh, that's why I'm covering this in the video. Now, this basically this content type options header setting helps in countering attacks like a mind confusion attack or unauthorized hot linking. Now, for a Power Pages site, let me show you one example. Now, this is my Power Pages site. Okay. Now, if I go to site details and you see uh, how find out how secure your site is. Now, if you if I click on refresh result, it will start running those, and it will start uh, giving me some more information. Now, it says that out of eight, six checks has been passed. Now, the couple of checks with regards to security, which is in a warning state. Okay, so that's fine. Now, if you see this warning state, now the first one is content security policy. Okay, it says content security policy is not configured. And second is HTTP X content type options is not configured to no sniff. Okay, now if you want to get rid of this error, what you need to do is you need to copy this header. Okay, go to the backend site now how do you navigate to the backend side is you click here and go to the portal management and under portal management go to site settings and go to your relevant site so minus san francisco and here try searching for that header component okay now quite possible it may not exist okay here you just see http and x frame options now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on new and i will paste this okay now for a website, I need to select the website and the value is no sniff. Okay. Now, once you set this value and you just click save. Once you're done with the setting, you sync the site. And once you're done with the uh, syncing the site, you see that out of 866 was passed. So let's refresh the result. So it will again start running those site checker and uh, ideally uh, if the sync has been worked correctly then uh, you should see that warning go off okay yes so now you see that that warning has gone and this number has increased to seven so that means we have successfully configured the x content type options header in our power pages site and we have successfully set the value to no sniff so that this we have added that extra layer of security within our power pages site so if you haven't done this for your power pages site i would highly encourage you to have a look into this video and make those configuration within your website thanks for watching